In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with chords in circles. So remember, a chord is a line segment that connects two points on a circle. So in this example, BD is a chord and also CD is a chord. So example A says, use circle A to answer the following. In part A, if the measure of arc BD equals 125 degrees, find the measure of arc CD. So if BD right here is 125, what is the measure of arc CD? So what you need to notice is that each chord is length eight. And that means that the two chords are congruent, which means that the arcs that they intercept also have to be the same measure. So if arc BD is 125, then arc CD also has to equal 125 degrees. All right, part B. If the measure of BC equals 80 degrees, find the measure of CD. So this is a new situation. So we know that arc BC is 80 degrees, so this arc right here. But we can still use the same idea because these are each eight so BD is still the same measure as arc CD. So if BC is 80, that means the rest of the circle is 360 degrees minus 80 because a whole circle is 360 degrees. So that means that the rest of the circle is 280 degrees. And that has to be split evenly between CD and BD because we already know that they have to be the same measure. So if we divide that by two, we get 140 degrees, which means that the measure of arc CD must equal 140 degrees. All right, let's go to example B. Find the value of X and Y. All right, so let's investigate this picture. We have a diameter. We know it's a diameter because it goes through the center of the circle. We also have a chord right here. And it's marked that the chord and diameter are perpendicular to each other. So one property of chords is that if a diameter and a chord meet at a right angle, then the diameter must bisect the chord, which means that each of these little segments are congruent, and bisects the whole arc, meaning that each half of the arc is the same. So that means that x must equal 6, because it has to be the same as the 6 over here. And y must equal 75 degrees, because it has to be the same as the 75 degrees over there. All right, let's look at example c. Find the value of x and y. So this looks to be a very similar situation. We have a diameter, which we can tell because of the center. We have a chord, and they meet at a right angle. So that means that y plus 4 and 2y plus 1 must be congruent or equal to each other because the diameter must bisect that chord. So we can solve this equation. 4 equals y plus 1, which means that 3 equals y, or y equals 3. So that gives us y. Now we can do the similar thing to solve for x because we know that these two arcs also have to have the same measure because the diameter bisects that arc, the big arc. So that means that 3x minus 4 must equal 5x minus 18. So we can solve this using algebra. We get negative 4 equals 2x minus 18 add 18 to both sides, and we get 22 equals 2x, which means that x equals 11.